all right? You'll have to return to the gardens, to the service area. We need to start the electrical generators there. I'll be navigating you directly. Felix started with his experiments, and we're suddenly missing power. We need more, but we can't take it from the ship network undetected. There are several emergency generators in the garden service area. We can plug into them and solve our power problems. But someone, namely you, has to physically hack the power routing terminal. You are getting closer to the service area. You must locate the control terminal. Unauthorized entry in the security section on level 11. Eliminated. Another locked door. But I don't see a terminal here. A code lock. Look around. Maybe you'll find it somewhere. Got the code.
Здравствуйте. It seems that the mutant who attacked you is a prototype, number 511, codename Hammerhead. We weren't experimenting with only normal, pure cloning. 
We were trying to enhance the abilities of the clones with various mutations and splicing. Our goal was to create ultimate workers and soldiers. We needed those for a successful colonization. But Professor Wagner was always trying various bizarre combinations. He really liked monsters. Listen, Doc. Why have you joined our freak circus? There's no simple answer. I honestly admit that survival was one of the factors. Maybe the soldiers would just lock me up. But who knows? And they would probably pick me as a scapegoat for all of Wagner's atrocities. If the net succeeds, there's still a chance to go on, to reach my dreams on Tau City. And there was also you. Ah, that was close. I didn't expect they'd try to ambush us. The ambush didn't help them much. Yes, the ambush failed. But our primary goal failed too. I've sucked as much as I could into our capacitors. We couldn't risk using the power connection for long when they knew we were there. We have enough for now, but we'll have to look for other sources later. The drones are part of the automated security system. There's quite a lot of them on the ship. They can identify anyone, and if anything doesn't fit their programming, they raise the alarm and execute the attack. You still haven't told me anything about what you were doing before. You won't leave this alone, will you? Listen, there's nothing to talk about. Yeah, they did a lot of things to you, but your core, it's still your own personality. You were formed by your childhood, by your experiences, by everything before you became an experiment. But me? I don't have anything like that. There's nothing to talk about. Wagner erased your memory? No, you don't understand. I was born on board. My first memories? Wagner. He was the first and the only real human I've ever talked with for a very long time. I didn't have an education. I had simulations and virtual reality, and I was listening to his blathering. I don't want to talk about it. We need to focus on what's important. You'll go down to the docks for Bill Hops, one of the ship technicians. Minikin needs his help. Unlike us, he's just a normal, unenhanced human. But, with a bit of luck, he'll be willing to join us. Hey, what did you mean when you said that Hops is an unenhanced human, unlike us? Uh, I meant, there's theoretically no reason for Hops to hide from soldiers. He's not an escaped experiment. And what we have in common is that soldiers see us as freaks. We're experiments that should be put inside the freezer. You, me, poor Minikin. What about Bielik? Dr. Bielik, there's a difference. Feel free to ask him why he joined us. Minikin's old friend, William Hops, is hiding in the docks. He's evading both zombies and soldiers. He's a great engineer. He has good tools. And we could use someone like that on our base. How is it going? Danette told me she was born on board, raised by Wagner. Yes, this is true. Her existence came as a surprise. Wagner's personal toy clone projects were usually meant to make a more nightmarish monster. What else do you know about her? I don't know much more. There's one detail you should probably know, but you'll have to promise me. You won't tell her about it. It's nothing bad, but she would be annoyed. All right, I promise. I ran a gene scan on her hair. I don't know how he got the material, but Heinrich used a genome that must have originated from his own daughter. Don't tell her. It's possible she does not know about it. And I think for all her old fascination with her father's research, she really hates him more than anything. Damn. I'll keep my mouth shut, Doc. 